And we welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, inside Dixon Stadium for the first game of a Friday afternoon doubleheader. Brian Magluwan here bringing you the action, Oklahoma Panhandle State versus the number six St. Mary's Rattlers. On the mound for the Rattlers is Rene Solis. And the first out was already recorded. Osbin was grounded out. And now up to bat is Bernal. The pitch from Solis out of the zone for a called ball. Let's meet the defensive lineup for the Rattlers. Over in right field is Brooks Orton. At center is Adrian Garcia. And in left field, Oscar Sepulveda. Over at third is Al Gonzalez. At short is Drake Roberts. At second base, Mario Maldonado. At first base, Joe Hermsen. Doing the catching is Keith Funk. And pitching is Rene Solis. Here's the 3 1 from Solis. High and outside for ball number four. And the walk is drawn by Bernal. And now up to bat is Cross White. The pitch from Solis swung on and fouled off out of play, 0-1. Solis looking over at first. The pickoff not in time as Bernal slides in safely. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Cross White already down in the count, 0 and 2 to Solis. Nick Cross White, a 263 batter on the season, has started. 17 games for the OPSU Aggies. And that pitch catches the outside portion of the plate for a called strike three. Solis records his first strikeout of the afternoon. And now batting the designated hitter, Christopher McClendon. Off-speed pitch, high and out of the zone for ball one. Runner on first, 1-0 the count. Here's the pitch from Solis. Off-speed pitch catches the upper portion of the zone for called strike one. The 1-1 one, one from Solis. Oh, swung on and missed for strike number two. As Solis once again ahead in the count. On the season, Solis has a 5-1 record with a 2.49 ERA. He has done superb like much of the Rattler pitching
Moreno, a 250 hitter on the season. And that first pitch is called a strike. We apologize for the technical difficulties. We're trying to get things straightened out here. And while we were away, Solis has battled to a two and two count against Moreno. And Moreno fouls that one away. The count will stay at two and two. Solis sets, looks over at second. Here's the 2-2. Off-speed pitch grounded up the middle to second. There to make the play is Maldonado. He takes it to the bag himself, and the Rattlers able to retire the side. Two are left on, excuse me, one is left on base. The Rattlers allow only one hit. No run score. And we head to the bottom of the first inning. Rattlers get set to take their swings against OPSU. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. You're watching Rattler Baseball right here on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 0-0 zero, zero the score here in the bottom of the first inning. Rattlers up to bat. Leading off is the right fielder, Brooks Orton. And the first pitch called strike to Orton. The pitcher for OPSU is... Sam Beatty. And the count is even at one and one. Beatty, a one and five record so far this season in seven games started. He has a 675 ERA. 
he has a tall order to go up against against the number six team in the country and Sam is down in the count three and one to Orton let us meet the defensive lineup for Oklahoma Panhandle State as Brooks draws a leadoff walk over in right field is Wooden at center is Osbin over at left field is Bernal at third is Aguirre short is Montoya Moreno's at second cross white at first and catching is Ibarra and now up to bat for the Rattlers is Mario Maldonado first pitch out of the zone ball one Maldonado batting a 311 and has started all 26 games he's played in for the Rattlers check over to first the 1-0 to Maldonado called strike one one and one now the count to Mario Mario getting his sign and steps into the box Orton at first and check over to first Orton in time here's the pitch and Mario bunts it it's down the line and we'll see another pitch in this at bat as the ball rolled into foul territory one and two now the count to Maldonado Mario so far leading the team in RBIs with 16 as well as home runs he has four of them and that pitch catches the lower portion of the zone for a called strike three Mario strikes out looking and now we'll see Al Gonzalez step up to bat Al batting 250 on the year as Beatty checks over to first Orton not too much of a lead over there able to get back to first standing up and that first pitch high and outside for ball number one now this season has nine RBIs to his name in addition to five extra base hits swung on and missed and in time safely at second is Orton as Orton records the stolen base. And that will add on to his totals on the year. He now has 16 stolen bases on the year to lead the Rattlers and make that 16 stolen bases on 17 attempts. And now the runner is in scoring position for Gonzalez. Grounder to short. In time is the throw, and Al is out at first. 
but that advances the runner over to third base. And now the designated hitter, Omar Garcia, will step up to bat. Orton over at third now. Two outs for Garcia. The pitch from Beatty, off speed, out of the zone, ball one. Oof. Pitch inside, swung on by Garcia and fouled away. One and one now the count. Beatty sets. He throws. Out of the zone for ball two. Omar Garcia second in the team. In batting average, he's batting 324 to go along with 11 RBIs as that one hit sharply up the middle and it gets past the infield and that'll be an RBI single for Omar Garcia as the Rattlers first to strike here on this Friday afternoon in San Antonio. First baseman, Joe Hermson. Get it, get and now batting is Joe Hermson. And that one fouled back to the catcher, 0-1. And right there, the Rattlers able to strike first with a bit of small ball. Brooks Orton able to steal second and advance to third on a ground out by Al Gonzalez and then Omar Garcia able to get the RBI single with two outs as Hermsen takes ball one. The 1-1 one -one from Beatty is a throw over to first. And Garcia able to get back safely. And that pitch fouled away by Joe. One and two. On deck is Drake Roberts. Here's the pitch from Beatty, well out of the zone, ball two. That one well hit to center, and there to make the play is Osbin for the third out of the inning. However, the Rattlers able to tack on a run here in the bottom of the first. They lead it one to nothing as we head to the top of the second. Stay with us. You're watching Rattler Baseball right here on the Rattler Network. We have so much to celebrate in Division 2. We're especially proud of our commitment to make a wish. Division 2 student athletes led a tight initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions. Nearly dollars have been raised, and hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, we support others in need. Why? It's simple. Because we care.
And welcome back. The six, seven, eight hitters do up here in the top of the second for the Aggies of Oklahoma Panhandle State. Leading off the inning is Montoya. The 0 1 from Solis catches the outside portion of the plate for called strike number two. In the bottom of the first inning, the Rattlers were able to score off a single up the middle by Omar Garcia, which scored Brooks Orton from third base. And that is the lone score so far in this ball game as that one hit high over to foul territory just out of play. And Montoya able to stay alive in this at bat. On deck is Aguirre. Robert Montoya is batting so far a 256 on the season as he swings on that one and just foul, says the umpire. And we'll see yet another pitch. Here's the one two from Solis. Off speed pitch. Fouled away. And right into the Aggie bullpen. Montoya has done a terrific job of fighting off several difficult pitches. As the count remains at one and two. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. And that is the second strikeout of the ball game for Rene Solis. And now batting for OPSU is Ruben Aguirre. And he takes the first pitch for a ball. 1-0. and oh. And the second pitch catches the outside portion of the plate. Strike number one. As Rene quickly throws his next pitch. And that one fouled off for strike number two. And what I've noticed from Rene, he's not taking much time between pitches. He's <laughs> really picked up the pace here. And now the count is even at two apiece. The 2-2 two -two from Rene. Swung on and lofted into left center. There to make the play is Sepulveda. And that'll be the second out of the inning. And now batting is Bo Ibarra. Ibarra batting 227 on the year. As he takes the first pitch from Solis for a ball 1-0. And quickly, Rene gets a called strike. One and one now the count. Off speed pitch high and out of the zone, but it was swung on and missed for strike number two. And Solis showing a little bit of the heater on that one. However, out of the zone for a ball two. Two and two now the count to Ibarra. And that pitch swung on and missed. And that's the third strikeout of the ball game for Rene Solis. 
Three up, three down go the Aggies of OPSU. Rattlers do up next here in the bottom of the second inning. Be sure to stay with us. You're watching Rattler Baseball right here on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. One to nothing is the score here in the bottom of the second inning. Rattlers up to bat. Leading off the inning for the Rattlers is shortstop Drake Roberts. Roberts takes the first pitch from Beatty for a called strike one. The six, seven, eight hitters are due up for St. Mary's here in the bottom of the second. And quickly, Roberts is down in the count, 0-2. Oh the pitch from Beatty out of the zone, ball one. On deck is the catcher, Keith Funk. So far on the year... Drake Roberts batting a 290 with 12 RBIs and four extra base hits. The one two from Beatty. Swung on and grounded softly to short. There to make the play is Montoya, and the throw is in time for out number one. Catcher Keith Funk. Now taking the plate for the Rattlers is Keith Funk. Funk batting 236 on the year. Is tied for second on the team with RBIs with 14. And Funk swings on that one and able to get a one-out single. Great piece of hitting there by Funk, not doing too much, able to hit it to the opposite field, right past the second baseman Moreno. And now up to bat is Adrian Garcia for the Rattlers. Garcia batting 241 on the year. Awaits the pitch. Outside for ball one. The 
Beatty looks over at first. And he checks over to Funk, who is not necessarily a threat to steal. Funk has only attempted to steal a base once this season. And another check over to first. Funk not necessarily getting a big lead over there at first and this time Funk sliding into first Beatty probably trying to catch Keith sleeping over there at first and the pitch is bunted over to third and there to make the play is Aguirre who throws out the speedster Garcia by half a step and now two outs now for the Rattlers with Funk over at second and now up to bat is Oscar Sepulveda The left-handed hitter awaits the first pitch from Beatty. Off speed. Catches the zone for strike one. Here's the 0-1 from Beatty, and that one gets away from the catcher Ibarra and Funk will advance to third on a wild pitch here's the 1-1 one -one from Beatty just inside for ball number two. Sepulveda, this being his fifth start of the season. Awaits the 2-1. And that one gets by the catcher once again. And standing up. Scoring is Keith Funk for the second run of the game for the Rattlers. And two passed balls allowed for the Rattlers to score here in the bottom of the second inning. And that one low and inside for ball number four as Sepulveda able to draw the walk as we return back to the top of the order and Brooks Orton. Orton was able to draw the walk his first time up. Two outs, a runner at first base. Rattlers leading two to nothing. The pitch from Beatty in the dirt for ball one. And Beatty checks over at first. Here's the 1 0 from Beatty. Catches the outside portion of the plate for a called strike.
And a great throw to second by the catcher, Ibarra, able to catch Sepulveda stealing. The Rattlers, however, are able to score one run here in the bottom of the second. They now lead two to nothing as we head to the top of the third inning. Rattlers lead two to nothing. Stay tuned for more baseball action right here on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the third inning here as the first pitch of the inning is lofted into center field by Trey Wooten for a leadoff single. And now up to bat is Osbin. We return to the top of the order, and we'd like to welcome all of you inside Beautiful Dixon Stadium for the first game of this Friday afternoon doubleheader. Brian Magluon now joined by the one and only David Tovar. David, thank you for joining us here. Great day. Great day for baseball. Always fun. The weather cooperating. Not too hot. A little humid, but of course, tis San Antonio. Should be a fun, uh, fun weekend of events here on campus. You have this going on. Two of a game, two games here this Friday. Then you got one tomorrow, and I don't know if you can spy. Yeah, you can spy on that very right hand, top right corner of your screen. There's a big tent being built on the flex field. Activities for for students. I believe it's called a glow party. Not not very familiar with that. With with, <laughs> with those are. I, I think I had to Google those. It's, the bun is laid down, so Lee's not able to make the play, and Olonato will scoop it up, and OPSU quickly gets two. On the bags here to open up their top of the third inning. And as you mentioned, a lot going on here this weekend inside St. Mary's University. Tons of activities for students as well, but we also have some pretty good baseball to be played, this being the first of a three-game set between the Rattlers and Aggies. The number, what are they, five Rattlers? Number six Rattlers, excuse me, six Rattlers. They not know PSU. Rattlers looking to bounce back as high as three at one point this year. But here they have to bounce back here in this top of the inning. Nice bun laid down, and it will be fouled away. And speaking of activities going on, and one more, the big enchilada next week. Baby Bake, otherwise known as Alumni Bake, that will take place next week. So a litany of events in the coming weeks for St. Mary's at St. Mary's. And, of course, the main event, the big show, what, what did you say, three weeks from now? Oyster Bake? I believe so. Okay. April 11th and 12th, 12th, right here on the campus of St. Mary's University. And if you haven't had a chance to visit campus already, the booth's going up. The fences should be taking uh, their shape right around next week as out numero uno is made. But yeah, that should be that should be a, a fun time. And it's usually that stretch of the semester where you know all the fun times begin to roll. First baseman, Nick Crosswhite. And now up to bat is the first baseman, Nick Crosswhite, who struck out his first time up to bat. 
One out with runners on second and third for the Aggies. Solis checks over to second. Here's his pitch. Off-speed pitch catches the zone for called strike one. OPSU doing a great job here at the beginning of this inning. They got off to a great start, put two on the bags, and already have them in scoring position one away. It'll be a huge feather in Solis's cap if he's able to notch about, you know, notch two outs and get out of this inning unscathed. And that pitch by Solis out of the zone for ball number one. And now Keith Funk will go over to discuss things over with his pitcher. And as you mentioned, a bit of small ball being played by OPSU laying down the bunt following a leadoff or leadoff hit. And the Rattlers were able to do that in the bottom of the first inning, playing a bit of small ball, able to advance the runner from second or from first to second and second to third. Well, it's rare to hit get a hit on these Rattlers, and when you get, you get at least two on the bags, you got to start trying to strategize and maneuver and try to get those guys in scoring position. OPSU doing a good job of that. It's rare to get a hit off the Rattlers. It's even rare to get one off Rene Solis, a perennial Harlan Conference Pitcher of the Week, a Tino Martiz Award finalist. So the OPSU Aggies, they are off to a great start. Let's see if they can finish for the Rattlers, hopefully. And Solis doing a good job not allowing that to happen. Solis awaiting his sign has slowed down the pace earlier on in the ball game was really pitching at a high pace high tempo and now he slowed things down as now the count goes full three and two and if you're Renee allowing the runner over to first isn't the worst thing in the world because first is left open and the walk is drawn so, by Crosswhite. So Solis will load the bases, and now shortstop Drake Roberts coming over and chit-chatting with Solis. They're trying to get something on the ground, one would assume. And OPSU here, this is a golden opportunity. And if you're an Aggie fan, and there's a couple here in inside Dixon Stadium, it would be a shame to let this opportunity pass by. Bases loaded, one away, and he got Solis... Here, teetering on the ropes. Not showing it there. Beautiful pitch by Solis. Gets McClellan swinging. 0-1 the count. And if you're the batter, McClellan, all you want to do is loft one deep into the outfield enough to score the runner from third. And quickly, Solis ahead in the count, 0-2. This is right where you want to be if you're Solis. You're up 0-2. You're going to try to force a, a bad swing of the bat here for OPSU. Bases loaded, 0-2. Oh, that's even better. Oh, beautiful pitch by Solis. Catches the outside corner for a called strike three. A three-pitch strikeout able to retire McClellan for the second out of the inning. And Solis's fourth strikeout of the ball game. And now up to bat is Montoya, or excuse me, Moreno. Off-speed pitch. Got Moreno chasing 0-1. Yeah, so he's trying to get this momentum back. The way the OPSU bats were rolling and the way that the offense was, excuse me, the momentum was kind of swinging toward the Aggies. It's good for... St. Mary's, and there you go. That's five straight strikes thrown by Solis. He got the last batter three in a row, and now he's up 0-2 once again on this count. Solis looking to battle back after allowing the first two runners on in this inning, and time is called. Yeah, this is going to be a huge feather in Solis' cap if he can get out of this inning unscathed and Potentially close it out with two strikeouts. 
The 0-2 in the dirt and great job by Funk able to keep it in front of him. One and two now the count. Bases loaded with two outs. Here's the one two. Ooh, just outside of the zone for a called ball. Two and two now the count. Yeah, just a little high and right there, Solis trying to make his batter Moreno chase on that one. Good job by Moreno staying patient, but if you're Solis, you have him right where you want him. Two and two. And that one low and inside for ball number three. Full count now. And this will be an important pitch for Rene Solis if he can get away from the thread. And that one hit wow. down the line over to third. And that one will be a ground rule double. Oh, well, it's going to be a foul ball. And apparently they... Whoa. That is a terrific break for Rene Solis and the Rattlers. They're going to call that foul. I don't believe it crossed the bag. I think it, it may have grazed it. This is one of those times where instant replay yeah, instant could be replay. used. Yeah, but luckily for us. A good break for the Rattlers right here as we'll see another 3-2 pitch. It's 2-2. Two and two. And a bit of confusion on the field whether the pitch count is either two or yeah, two. We had it at three and two, and, and the umpire is uh, saying that it's two and two. There's no way to go. There's no way to uh, to review this, so we're going to have to just trust the umpire here. We'll take it, but let's see what the umpire and the OPSU manager. And uh, safe to say they're not making dinner plans here in San Antonio. And now the umpires will be uh, reconfirming in yeah. the, at the mound. All right, we'll take a little break with them. We'll be back. Rattle Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And after a bit of deliberation, the count is full at three and two as Rene Solis deals and that one. Wow. And that's the way the cookie crumbles for OPSU. Three, two count, and a strikeout looking with the bases loaded. Great job by Rene Solis, able to battle back after having runners on second and third with only one out. Rattlers escape unscathed. They still lead two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the third inning. You're watching Rattler Baseball right here on the Rattler Network.
<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Two to nothing is the score as the Rattlers step up to bat here in the bottom of the third inning. The one, two, three hitters do up for the Rattlers. Leading off is Brooks Orton as he takes the first pitch for called strike one. Brian Maglou on here with David Tovar bringing you this afternoon's action. The first game of a doubleheader between St. Mary's and Oklahoma Panhandle State. As <laughs> they're not going to get it. <laughs> that one falls foul. And yet three blue jerseys chasing that. Nobody able to come up with it. So a good break there for Brooks Wharton. We got all the way to the second. He'll be heading back as he'll stare at an 0-2 count. And the wind definitely a factor on that play right there. It is swirling from right to left. And the ball was able to tail away from the OPSU players. And Orton able to stay alive in the count. Yeah, wind and momentum a factor. And a lot of people argue there isn't quite momentum in baseball. But you saw it there in the last inning with Rene Solis. He gave up two quick hits. Bat uh, batters getting all the way turning to runners, getting all the way to second and third, and then he's able to uh, get the second out in three straight strikes as his pitch over to Orton is low. That'll be a ball one. That moves the count to one and two. And then the last batter got all the way to 0 oh and 2, and then he was able to force three balls, so it brought the count full on three and two. He's able to get a huge hit, or what looked to be a hit, another foul there by Orton. And an eventual hit that was ruled foul, and that brought all the runners in. Instead, they were all sent back. Batter comes back in, three and two count. After much deliberation, I think the umpire got confused. He thought it was two and two. After confronting with everyone, it was three and two. And on the next pitch, Solis gets the batter looking, and the Rattlers escape, as you mentioned. And there, Orton almost beamed. And that moves the count to two and two. But a good break by the Rattlers there in the top of the third. And a bad break to start this one here. And that pitch catches the outside corner for a called strike three as Beattie able to get Orton looking for the first out of the inning. And that is Beattie's second strikeout of the ball game. And now we'll see Mario Maldonado step up to bat. Struck out his first time up. The pitch from Beatty. Low and inside for ball one. We remind you, Rattler fans, to join us on social media at St. Mary's Rattlers on Twitter and on Instagram. Be sure to use the hashtag Fangs Out for all things St. Mary's Rattlers. And be sure to check out rattlerathletics.com for all your information on the sports going on right here on campus. Rattlerathletics.com as Maldonado able to foul that one away. Two and one now the count. So the wind picking up, you can see it, I think, on your screen, the flags, the American flag, the Texas flag, and it's they are waving. A nice, uh, there's some nice wind. And luckily, the, the sun is kind of kept at bay by the clouds. Hopefully, that doesn't mean rain this weekend, but it's nice weather for baseball as Maldonado takes a big swing at this one, and this one is back in the parking lot, and I don't think I parked my car there. <laughs> two and two now the count to Mario. I hope I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings deuces across the board for Maldonado. Two balls and two strikes for 2-1. On deck for the Rattlers is Al Gonzalez. And that off-speed pitch is fouled right at the Rattler dugout. Yeah, that's going to take someone. <laughs> he saw bodies hit the deck quickly. Looks as if everyone is okay, though. And we'll see another 2-2 pitch. And 
that one swung on and hit to deep left field. There to make the play is Bernal. And Maldonado is out on a loud fly ball that just didn't have enough to clear the fence. And now up to bat is Al Gonzalez. Big feather in the Aggies cap. They didn't get the Rattlers here. One, two, three. They already got two down. As you mentioned, Al Gonzalez up next. Brooks Orton struck out looking. Maldonado popped one up to left. And now Gonzalez here takes a ball one. The Rattlers, as I mentioned in the last inning, got a huge break. A lot of uh, a good bounce from the baseball gods. As Gonzalez here looking for the same quickly. Goes up ahead 2-0. Al grounded out his last time up. And a check swing fouls the ball away. Two and one now the count. Here's the two one. Hit sharply up the middle. And unable to make the play is Moreno at second as he lost his footing. And Gonzalez able to reach on a two-out single. Just exactly with a doctor order there for St. Mary's. Good, good break by... Good, good break for Gonzalez. And an unfortunate one there for the second baseman, Moreno, as he makes the play that's hit right up the gut. He's able to stop that from getting to the outfield, but he's just, as you mentioned, not able to keep his footing. And Gonzalez on first. Rattler's still alive here in the bottom of the third inning. And now up to bat is Omar Garcia. And that first pitch low and inside for ball one. And the wind starting to pick up hey. just a little bit, as That's you can hear. It's audible on the broadcast, and it's going to affect the play on the field here. Hopefully the Rattlers can get a little, a little assistance from the wind here. As Beatty checks over to Gonzalez at first, Al able to get back standing. And once again, Beatty checks over to first. And what I've noticed is whenever Sam Beatty checks over to first base, he he doesn't just do it once. He's He's almost like Santa Claus, checking it twice <laughs> as Al Gonzalez was able Omar, to advance to second yeah. on a hit from Omar Garcia. And the Rattlers able to get something going with two outs. Back-to-back -back hits for the Rattlers as Joe Hermsen steps up to bat next. Now, Rattlers stand alive here in the bottom of the third inning, first Batter was Orton, and he was struck out looking, and Maldonado flied out to left. Now you got two straight hits here for the St. Mary's Rattlers, and they continue to battle, and they continue to pose a threat here to the Aggies, looking to add more on their scoreboard. The Rattlers have scored at the bottom of each inning in the first and second, and now looking to continue that trend here in the third. And they have a man on second. That's Al Gonzalez. Here is Hermson. And that first pitch... Catches the bottom portion of the zone for a called strike one to Joe Hermsen. Oh, that pitch got Hermsen swinging and quickly. Joe down in the count, 0-2. Here's the 0-2 from Beatty, low and out of the zone, ball one. Hermsen doing a good job there, showing patience, not going to chase it. Has a good opportunity here with two outs and two runners on. Two runners, of course, getting on with two outs. So Rattlers here, almost playing with house money at this point, trying to get the good swing here. Off not speed. exactly the good swing. Off-speed pitch gets Joe swinging, and... Hermsen strikes out to retire the side. Rattlers threaten late in the inning. However, they're unable to score as they leave two runners on. 
St. Mary's still leading 2 to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Stay tuned right here on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fourth inning here. St. Mary's leading 2 to nothing over the Aggies of Oklahoma Panhandle State as the first batter of the inning, Montoya, is retired for out number one on a ground out to Al Gonzalez over at third. And now up to bat is Aguirre. Aguirre 0 for 1 this afternoon. Takes the first pitch for a called strike one. Brian Magliuan here with David Tovar bringing you the first game of this doubleheader between the Rattlers and Aggies. And early on the Rattlers were able to tack on two runs in the first two innings. And that remains the score here. And that first pitch in the, or that pitch in the dirt, and and a roll of strikeouts. That's two away now for St. Mary's. Good break there for the Rattlers, and Rattlers here, as you mentioned, lead 2-0. A pretty compelling third inning for both OPSU and for St. Mary's when they had their turn at the plate. Rattlers, of course, in the bottom of the third, getting two quick outs and getting two big hits. And then Herbson struck out swinging, so the Rattlers not able to capitalize on. Some good momentum here in the bottom of the third, but this will put away OPSU a quick one, two, three inning. A bit surprising after that long marathon of a third inning, but nonetheless, we'll head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Rattlers up to bat next. Stay with us for more baseball action right here on the Rattler Network.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the fourth inning here inside Dixon Stadium. Brian Magaluan alongside David Tovar. Rattlers up to bat. Leading off is Drake Roberts, who is 0 for 1 so far this afternoon. And still pitching for the Aggies is Sam Beatty, whose first pitch is good for ball number one. And quickly the count goes to 2-0 to Roberts. Yeah, Roberts, one of those players, he gets on the bag and he can fly, so OPSU very cognizant of that. That one popped high to right field. There to make the play is Wooden. And that'll be the first out of the inning as Roberts flies out. Catcher Keith Funk. And now batting for the Rattlers is Keith Funk, who is one for one on the day. Was able to score the second run of the game for the Rattlers on a passed ball. And 1-0 the count. So Funk takes and looks. That'll move the count to 1-1. One away already here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Rattlers lead it 2-0. Next pitch to Funk. This one chopped over to second. Moreno going to try to make the play. And he does. He atones for the play last inning. That actually got a bit of a, an attempted rally for St. Mary's going. That's two away. And that will bring up the next batter for St. Mary's. Adrian Garcia, who uh, drew a walk his last time up. St. Mary's coming into today's ball game with a 19 and seven record. A bit of a stumble as of late. They dropped their last two games to University of Arkansas Fort Smith for I believe their first loss in Heartland Conference or their second loss in Heartland Conference play and they're currently riding a a bad stretch of games where they've lost three of their last five as Garcia strikes out to end the inning however Rattlers still lead two to nothing as they look to bounce back right here over Oklahoma Panhandle State. Stay tuned. You're watching Rattler Baseball right here on the Rattler Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fifth inning here of uh, the first game of a doubleheader here this Friday afternoon. St. Mary's leading OPSU 2 to nothing. 
as Rene Solis deals the first pitch for a called strike one. Brian Magliuan, David Tovar alongside me bringing you today's action. And Solis quickly ahead in the count. 0-2 now to Wooten. When you get up 0-2, oh, you have the flexibility of trying some pitches, trying to maybe fool the batter in. So at least they're going pretty high. Now the 1-2. and two. Now it goes pretty low. And Solis missing his mark on the past on the last two pitches. Probably trying to set up something and maybe catch Wooden off guard. The 2-2 from Solis uh, not is hold is halted. <laughs> Not yet thrown as time was called by Wooten. Now the 2-2. Off-speed pitch and Wooten able to foul tip that one back. The count will remain at 2-2. Two and two. Solis once again has been terrific as he gets Wooten looking for strikeout number seven and the first out of the top of the fifth. Yeah, Solis is rolling right now. As you mentioned, seven strikeouts already. In the top of the fifth inning. Remember, this first game is a seven-inning affair. Game one of a two-game set this Friday afternoon. This one has popped up. This will end up on the roof and... Will not take any more bounces. That one will stay on the roof quickly. 0-1 count. And so Elise has been great after getting into that jam in the third inning. He had the bases loaded. He was staring at a 3-2 and two count. And he struck the batter out looking. It was quite the feather in the cap for Solis as next pitch for him is outside. 1-1. One Osmond at bat is one for two in this ball game, and he takes that pitch for a ball. Two and one now the count. Off speed pitch gets him swinging, and that evens the count at two apiece. And as you mentioned, after getting into that jam in the top of the third inning, Rene Solis has really held his own, and that is strikeout and number eight as Osbin goes down swinging. Rene Solis hitting on all cylinders here in the top of the fifth inning. So quickly a one-two down, now looking to make it three, and two straight strikeouts from Solis. Next pitch, just outside for ball one. And we've mentioned Solis, as you mentioned, he is starting to cook now with some oil. Bernal up to bat. Drew a walk his last time up. Looks at that pitch for a called strike. One and one the count. And that one swung on and fouled away for strike number two. And ever since that third inning, OPSU has had nothing going for them against Rene. That one hit right back to Rene, who fields it cleanly. And the throw over to first in time. A 1 2 3 inning. Down goes OPSU and St. Mary's still keeping a clean sheet. They still lead 2 to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Stay tuned for more action right after this.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Two to nothing is the score as the 9, 1, and 2 hitters are due up for the Rattlers. Leading off is Oscar Sepulveda, who drew walk his last time at the plate. The 1 0 pitch from Beatty's called a strike. 1 and 1 now the count. And that pitch catches the outside portion of the plate for a called strike number two. Yeah, you know, the real headline in this ballgame has been Renee Solis. He has been terrific here as of late in the last couple innings. But, I mean, something you expect out of Solis as Sepulveda gets one up the gut. No, it's cut short by the shortstop over to first, and the play is made. Nice play made there by the shortstop Montoya. And it, it looked like Sepulveda is going to have a nice hit to lead off this inning. Instead, it is out number uno for St. Mary's. And now batting is Brooks Orton as the Rattlers return to the top of their lineup. Orton 0 for 1 on the day. Struck out once. And here's the pitch from Beatty out of the zone. 1 and 0. And so Lisa has been great eight strikeouts and you go back to that third inning where the momentum could have swung either way and a 3-2 count I believe it was two outs and I believe the batter Moreno is this one is out you know it's going to be going to catch the plate one and one but that hit over to the third base line and it, and originally it looked fair and it brought all three runners for OPSU in it was a bases loaded situation they bring it back as Orton takes a big hack at this one. It is in shallow left center. And now caught by Bernal, out number two. But yeah, in that play, it's brought back. Counts back at three and two, bases loaded. And Solis next pitch without missing a beat. It's an easy strikeout looking. And that's the story of that ballgame. That's how the cookies crumbled for OPSU in this ballgame. Now up to bat for the Rattlers is Mario Maldonado, who's 0 for 2. Mario looking to get something going here this afternoon as he takes the first pitch for ball one. And as you mentioned, that top of the third inning could have swayed the game either way. Yeah, because three runs came in for OPSU. That would have been a 3-2 lead. For the Aggies, instead, they are still scoreless, and Maldonado able to get one up the gut. Again, two-out hit for St. Mary's, and they did that in the bottom of the third inning. They'll look to complete it here in the bottom of the fifth. Third and now up to bat is Al Gonzalez. Mario Maldonado was able to get that two out single and which was good enough for his first out or first hit of the ball game and first pitch is swung on and hit towards our direction here in the press box area on one the count that's a high pop foul ball and they're exactly right just landed left of where our camera setup is so good aim by Al, just not good enough. <laughs> and a check over to Mario at first. Uh, not in time, Mario sliding in safely. And oh, Maldonado in trouble now. In Mario in, in a rock rundown. and a hard place, and he tried to slide away. And eventually... If you throw over, over to first enough times, you'll get someone out. And right there, Mario caught sleeping on the base path. And no harm, no foul done as OPSU able to avoid any further damage. They still trail the Rattlers 2-0 as we head to the top of the sixth inning. Stay with us. More upcoming right after this.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the sixth inning here. The three, four, and five hitters do up for OPSU. Brian Magliuan, David Tovar with you. Bringing you game number one of a Friday afternoon doubleheader between the Rattlers and Aggies of OPSU. First pitch from Rene Solis is called strike one. And we'd like to send our best wishes to our colleague Joe Rodriguez. Get well soon, bud. Uh, can't wait to see you back here calling these ball games with us. Indeed. Our partner feeling a little under the weather. This is over at home in Arlington. I got that right finally. And this one has popped up. It looks to be foul. Hermson chasing it down, not able to get to it. It'll be fouled away. Keep the count at one and two now. But yeah, our partner feeling a little under the weather over with his family in Arlington, Texas. And, of course, as you mentioned so eloquently, Mr. Magulion, our, uh, our best wishes and a speedy recovery to our colleague, uh, Joey Baseball, Joe Rodriguez. One and two, the count to Cross White, who is 0 for 1 on the day in that one. Out of the zone, two and two now. The count. Rene Solis with eight strikeouts, allowing only three hits thus far and walking two. And that one hit hard to left. But there to make the play is Sepulveda for the second out of this inning. Designated hitter, Christopher McClendon. And now up to bat is Christopher McClendon who is one for two this afternoon. That first pitch in the zone for strike number one. Rene Solis has done a terrific job and Right there, getting McClellan swinging. 0-2 the count. Yeah, so at least on day, only giving up three hits, allowed two walks, and have struck out eight, including McClellan, who is a one for one on the day. One hit, one strikeout. Make it. Whoa. I don't see that often. Funk not able to get that over to Hermson. And McClellan will trot to first, and I'm sure he was surprised as all of us here were. That's one of those plays that you see made often. A routine out. Can't get a little too lackadaisical. As you can hear the machinery in the background. The Oyster Bake and Alumni Bake festivities, I think, beginning to take shape. So one away and one on for OPSU. Solis's pitch in the zone for called strike one. And let's see if the Rattlers can bounce back after that error by Funk. As you mentioned, a routine play which should which 99% of the time is made. Here's that 1%. Off speed pitch. Oh, beautiful pitch by Rene. And quickly ahead in the count over Moreno, 0-2. That's the madness of March taking place here on the field. That's some good games already. Big up, some major brackets busted. I, it's safe to say that Ohio State and Duke probably cost a lot of people a billion dollars <laughs> or a chance at a billion dollars. And Harvard as well for the second year in a row, the I Ivy League school were, making were they, it. Were they a 12 seed? Or I right? believe Harvard was okay, a 12 well, seed. Well, 12, <laughs> I mean, a, a 12 is, you can see that. But I, I don't think anybody had Ohio State losing that early in the first round, or nor Duke. And what you did have was another strikeout here by Solis, and he has been terrific. Lights out. That's his ninth on the afternoon. So that's two away. Runner still on for the Aggies. And as you mentioned, great game so far in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Last night, the University of Texas yeah. winning at the buzzer. Now that, now that was what the madness was about. Reminiscent of that Houston team with Olajuwon, right? Yes, with uh, 
uh, where they lost to NC State and Jimmy V. Oh, here v. come the Aggies. They're trying to make a play at the plate, and they do. And so McClutton gets all the way from first to home off that double over to left. So the Aggies now on the board, and they are looking to make this one a ball game. Great piece of hitting there by Montoya, able to deposit it in the gap, and this is uh, the the most lively we've seen OPSU been since the top of the third inning, where they threatened, and now they cut their deficit in half, two to one. Now the score as Solis right back to work, leading off with a strike to Montoya. That would be an or, that would be assessed an error to St. Mary's. Correction: the batter is. Aguirre as that one is hit slowly to second. Oof. And a dangerous throw there by Maldonado. Herms unable to corral it and record the third out of the inning. OPSU able to score one run here in the top of the sixth. They cut St. Mary's lead down to one run. Two to one is the score as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Rattlers do up next. Up Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the sixth inning here. Rattlers leading 2-1 to one over the Aggies of OPSU. Leading off for the Rattlers in the bottom of the sixth inning is Al Gonzalez. And he takes that off-speed pitch from Beatty for a called strike one. And a crazy turn of events in the top of the sixth inning. OPSU able to get a run. A huge stride from first to home by McClellan after a very nice hit by Montoya in shallow left center. And this is a ball game here all of a sudden. 2-1 is the score with the Rattlers here in the bottom of the six. They'll have to defend one morning. That's the top of the seventh. So the Rattlers here will look to attack on a little bit more runs and try to get some more breathing room. One and two to Gonzalez here. And Al fouls that one away. The count will remain at one and two. Here's the one two from Beatty. Swung on and hit over to short. The throw is in time for out number one. Montoya able to make the play as Gonzalez grounds out for the first out of this inning. And now up to bat is Omar Garcia, who's two for two on the day with one RBI. Omar looking to continue his success this afternoon over the pitcher Beatty. First pitch out of the zone, ball one. Rattlers here looking to make some good contact with the ball. This one low, and it will be ball two for Garcia. Rattlers have had some offensive 
outburst since the second inning. They have not put up a run since the bottom of the second inning. 2-1 is the score. And now Garcia pops one up. And it is caught by the center fielder. First baseman, Joe Herbstein. So center fielder catches that one. That makes it out number two. And quickly, the Rattlers here running out of outs to try to get a little bit more space on that board. Remember, game one is a seven-inning affair. This pitch up high to Hermsen for the 0-1. Hermsen showed bunt, tried to pull it back, but not quick enough. Strike one. And as you mentioned, Rattlers clinging to a one-run lead. They would love to put on some insurance runs. And quickly, Hermsen down in the count, 0-2 to Sam Beatty, who has done a solid job the past several innings after allowing those first two runs to score in the first two innings. And a 1-2-3 inning, down goes St. Mary's. And we head to the top of the seventh inning. Rattlers clinging to a one-run lead. They lead 2-1. to one. OPSU up to bat next. Stay tuned for the conclusion of this one right here on the Rattler Network. Leading off the seventh for the Yankees, catcher Bo Ibarra. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the seventh inning here inside Dixon Stadium. Leading off for the Aggies is their catcher Bo Ibarra. And tough play for shortstop Drake Roberts to make. And Ibarra able to reach on a leadoff single here in the top of the seventh. OPSU has put themselves in great position here at the top of the seventh inning. They get a run in the bottom, excuse me, in the top of the six. And so here in the top of the seventh, they are back within one. They have been threatening all game long. They finally were able to strike in the top of the six. And here in the top of the seventh, with a leadoff hit, they are in great position to try to tie this ball game up and force some extra innings with the St. Mary's Rattler. St. Mary's, however, wants to get this one over with quick. They got a double header with the St. Maggie's upcoming here to close off this Friday afternoon two game set. The pitch from Solis, good for strike number one as Wooten was showing bunt. And if you're OPSU, this is pretty good strategy. Just try to get the runner over into scoring position. You just need one run to try to extend this ball game as Wooten, his bunt attempt, fouls that pitch away. 0-2 now the count. Now Wooten falling behind with a strike on an attempted bunt and then a fouled away bunt. So 0-2 Solis, nine strikeouts on the ball game. Trying to make it 10 here. It looks like Wooten's gonna try to swing at this one. 
And that one just misses for ball number one. Well, situations where the batter can even keep the pitcher guessing. I think, I think Solis trying to go a little bit high and outside waiting for that bunt. But Wooten looks here like he's going to swing. One and two. Back over to first. Now Solis with a little bit of gamesmanship here. Solis sets. He looks over at first. And his one-two pitch high and out of the zone for ball number two. Two and two now the count to Wooten. And Solis strikes out Wooten for yet another strikeout. And that is his 11th of the ball game as Rene seems to be in control throughout the ball game. No matter the situation, we saw in the top of the third inning, he had a bases loaded situation. Remain calm, was able to strike out the side. He cruised through the next several innings as he throws over to first, allowing only one run in the top of the sixth inning. But nonetheless, Rene has showed the poise and the nerves of a well groomed veteran that pitch out of the zone one and oh here's the one oh from Renee a bunt down the line there to make the tag is Hermsen, but the runner advances to second. So a sacrifice bunt by Osbin advances the runner. So now a huge defensive stand here for St. Mary's. You got Wooten at second who has the wheels. And I got a batter up. You got two away, and you can close out this first game of this three-game set. Can't let anything get past you if you're the infield. If you're Solis, perfect time for the 11th strikeout here at the 11th hour of this game. Off-speed pitch, hit over to second. There to make the play is Maldonado, and that's the ball game, Rattlers take the first of this double header by a score of two to one. St. Mary's was able to get five hits. However, they had two errors defensively on the other side of the ball. OPSU managed to score one run in the top of the sixth inning, but it was not enough. And St. Mary's able to take the first of this three-game series, game number two, will be coming at you sh shortly right here on the Rattler Network. Rene Solis, the winning pitcher, the losing pitcher, Sam Beatty, and the Rattlers able to bounce back from a loss their last time. And now we head to game number two, which is set for approximately 30 minutes so be sure to join us and stay tuned for more baseball action right after this short break.